Alright, so Pig Pants did some sniffing. And uh, turns out there might be some battery boys over here. So we're going to see what we can uh, sniff out. It's going to be a fun time. That's right, Pig Pants. It's going to be great. We just got to watch out for Death Claws. No! Oh, run, run, Pig Pants. <laughs> run, come on. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oop! I see some smoke. Pig Pants. Hurry up. Are they chasing you? Yeah, it's right. I don't got time for that. All right, let's uh, climb this mountain, Pig Pants. Come on, you and I. Come on, give me a boost. Get on over here. Give me a boost, Pig Pants. Get on to me. There we go. Oh, yeah. Pig Pants had to boost me a bit, but uh, he stayed down. All right. There's the smoke. Hopefully this is just like a battery graveyard or something. Yes. <laughs> battery. Oh, look how big they are. Ooh. I don't even need that many. I don't even know if these are going to fit. All right. Well, mission accomplished. Let's head back to Pig Pants. Get some pig dance. Yeah, that's right. Sit over there, you goofy bastards. Good news. Do you need something? This unit's for the insane. I've got the battery. It's extra large. Very well. You can talk to my patient. I need to talk to the guy in the hat. All right. Jenny. I mean, Jeannie. Sorry. Unlock cell two. Be careful if he starts to mention ammonia. Means he's about to turn violent. Hardly ever happens, but even so, better safe than sorry. Oh, also, we can't have the cell kept open. As soon as you leave, we'll lock it back up. If you need to speak again, speak to me. Well, that makes sense. Hey, madman. You said you let another truck pass. That was the pineapple. We're meant to be serving the lemon cake. Wait, what were you talking about? Are you all right? I'm great. This is the best hotel in all of New Vegas. Could you tell him for me? I'm not crazy. Of course I will, but I need to talk to you. Whatever, crazy man, I need to talk to you. Uh, of course I will, but I need to talk to you. Well, hurry up and draw, cowboy. Words are weapons, so treat him with care. Death sent me. Says he need my help? Uh, yes. I need all kinds of help, pal. Why do you think you're gonna crack the code? Yeah, I need you. Nothing more important than getting back to my unit. They need me, which means I need out of here. No problem. I'll just release the cell doors. What do we do? Well, we convince him I'm sane. That'll probably work out in about 70 years or so. No, we need a different plan. Hmm, I'm not a high enough rank to deal with this. I need the right equipment. Get me a general's hat, then we can figure this out. What? A general's hat? Get the general's hat so Pestilence can plan. Uh, er, okay. Hey, man. You got the hat? I'll, uh, go check it out. Ah, there she blows. Mmm. Yeah. Let's go. Storms are coming. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Also, I have 38 grenades. I don't know when that happened. Have I always had that many grenades? Are these grenades? No, those are definitely grenades. Here you go. <laughs> Ah, crap. Chat pig pants. Oh, reload, reload. Now you die. Stop talking about yourself. Oh. Jeez. Prospector. Paladin toaster. What is this? Silence terminus? What mod is this from? Whoa! Watch out, man. Silence term. Is this a. Uh... Let me just check real quick, because I am intrigued. Rocket Man, you go on the ground real quick. GBO 6C. Oh, nice! Alright, great. So I did drop a bunch before the review because, uh. 
I needed space because I didn't have enough space. Silence Terminus. Ooh, look, these two mods are converging. Little Latin for you. Found that in a book. Five parts compressed air, one part venom tipped dart. Genius. That Viper Dolt, found that word too, isn't going to need his legs for much longer. Ha, ha, ha. You did, asshole. These darts are a cinch, and that one to make. Hard part is snagging the venom. Scorpions work great. Wonder what a Cazador would do. Ooh. All right. Is there a hat here? A general's hat? Oop. Ah, the mushrooms were wearing it, or whatever those things are. All right, got it. Don't need a minigun. Give the hat to Pestilence. It's gonna be a weird ass quest. <laughs> I'm still crouching. I need the door opened again, ma'am. Keep your hair on. I'm on it. No promises. I may go bald at any moment. I can feel a new identity coming. I can feel it. I don't know quite what it is yet, but it'll thrill and amaze us all. I've got the hat. General Patterson at your service. Let's figure out a way to get out of this jam sandwich. By Jove, I've got it. We give the monkey a grenade. Sorry, I get distracted. Aha! I remember rumors of an experimental weapon in the Mojave, but it was never used because it drove the test subjects insane. Don't think I really need to worry about that. You need to find it and I can zap out of here, but its energy consumption is like a fat death claw level. You'll need a power source. We only get one shot at this. The other issue mentioned was it burned out after a single use and uh, <clears throat> someone sometimes detonated. So where can I find this teleporter? Ooh, teleporter. It's out there. I know it's out there. Alas, its location is hidden from me by powerful magic. Ancient magic. We need more modern tech to find it. Try the Repcon facility. The wind whispers some technophiliacs may have the answers we need. Man, you really are crazy. Alright, Repcon facility sounds like a good place to start looking. And to start cooking. Hey, hey you need to get out of the way, dude. I keep running into you every time we leave. Ooh, we get to use our, uh... Our poison dart gun. Pew, pew. So what do we got? We got not syrup, tree bark, and cazador. Ooh, cazador is probably like the most effective. All right. I do have to remember this only has three shots though. Okay, let's try our first victim. Ooh, sorry about that. Oh, nice. Oh, awesome. This will be great for, like, death claws and stuff. Uh, yeah, let's save it for death claws. <laughs> Don't you touch my pig. Oh, hello there. You are different. Oh, God. Yeah. That's right, you stay back there, Jim Jams. Pig pants. Pig pants, stay back here, right? Man. Love that gun. What else I got? Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Pig pants, calm down. You're so loud. Yeah, I know what dynamite is, game. Uh, underground hangar. Does anyone have a hangar key? Uh-oh. Yeah, maybe not bad. Nope, going back to the nail gun then, I guess. Hello! Bye! Watch out, ghoul killer! Whoops. Alright. <laughs> I may have, uh, over exaggerated. Whoa, pig pants, what are you doing in here? Pig pants found a friend. Hey, bud. Knight Arthur and his. Not round Hello? or table. Yeah, hi. You've made a big mistake coming down here, Wastelander. We're in serious trouble. 
I need the Brotherhood's help. I'm not really in a position to help you, Wastelander. Please, it's important, mister. I need to get to the Enclave facility first. Help me clear it out and find my missing brother. Then I'll help you. Can't you help me, though, mister? No, my paladin is too badly injured. If I leave, he dies. I won't ask you to leave him. He's already dead and you know it. Uh, all right. Thank you. Clear the facility. Find Knight Darmian. Then I'll give you whatever you need. Oh, thanks for the key. I was going to ask you more questions, but... Paladin Morgan, he's sleeping and pooping. Paladin Morgan shows damage where his armor was penetrated. It had to be removed to treat him. His injuries are so severe he can't move. Mm. Alright, can I talk to you now, actually? Or... Speak, Wastelander. Never mind, alright. Well, I guess I'm doing that job. Whoa! Oh, crap. Didn't know there were going to be actual enclave here. That guy doesn't care. Oh, Santa Claus is here. Oh, this isn't good. Pig pants. Pig pants, wait a minute. That's what I think about you. Crap, I'm out of explosives. Oof. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. You turned pig pants into goop. I can't shrink goop, you son of a bitch. Oh, man. Oh. No. <laughs> Out of all the enemies that are killed. Oh, man. Uh, well, Pig Pants will be back next episode, I guess. <laughs> Jeez, these guys got eviscerated. So, uh, I'm just looking for one guy. You could have just let me through. Unfortunately, I am out of the... Uh, all my explosives now. Do I have, like, plasma? No, I just got AP. Well, AP works good enough for me. Flight control... I'm a friend. Oh! My demon. Turns out the Enclave don't know how to open doors. Ooh, who's this? Major Rutger. Major Rutger's final note. Are you massaging that generator? I called dibs next. This note is for authorized eyes only. Enclave CO's rank captain or higher. Yes, my orders still count after I'm dead. Officer, I'm sorry for my dereliction of duty, but there seemed no other option. The troops have gone mad. I assume you had to put them down. They became increasingly violent over a number of weeks. When they were ordered to continue vertebrate maintenance, a fight erupted and the engineers were killed. On attempting to cake control, that's right, cake control, a punch blinded me in one eye. Ooh. The troops refused to execute the, ass ass <coughs> the assailant. Sorry, hairball. The next day, they stormed outside to kill the ghouls and knocked me down when I ordered they stand down. They were plotting to kill me, but a bit too loudly. Someone had rigged the door to a key card blocking any escape, so retreating to here was the only option. I've disabled the flight controls and overridden the bunker controls to only open from the outside. They're trapped here. No access without an enclave master key card to this room or the outside. Not even I have one. All the rations are in the main hangar. Luckily, I have my pistol still. Starving to death isn't the only option. Major Rutger. Uh, Knight Damien? Oh, fuck. You see him out there? The Death Claws? We lost so many people. It wasn't wasn't meant to be like this. Oh, are you okay? The Death Claws. We, we lost everyone. Everyone. So, uh, we're still good to go. Oh, man. Death Claws are everywhere. Oh, Death Claws. Oh. All right. Well, you're free to go, dude. Also, you don't have to starve to death. I got some chicken. There we go. I'm reading that one. There you go, buddy. There you go. Drink up. You have a good day. Also, the door's open, so you can leave. Hmm. Can these blow up, by the way? Because that'll be a big-ass explosion. 
Okay, that's way too close. <laughs> Let's see if these explode from two feet away from me. Nah, it's just the statics. Boop. Yeah, alright. Guess all the uh, gasoline was taken out of them. Alright, so I, I'm pretty sure Pig Pants got killed by that uh, goop machine. Because I don't see his body. Rip Pig Pants, you'll be back in a week. Hey, good news, bad news. Speak, Wastelander. Uh, Darmian's alive, but he's lost it. Damn it. He was a true brother to us all. Isn't there any way we can help him? Actually, there is. I know of a psychiatric facility at the New Vegas Medical Clinic. You mean he might recover? That's brilliant news. I'll make sure he gets there. Now, I need that favor. Tell me where the Enclave Experimental Teleporter is. They, they, dr they drive you insane, blow you up one? It's a rumor. We've hunted it as long as we've been in the Mojave. It doesn't exist. The whole rumor was based on a single terminal at Mariposa. If it is real, it probably got destroyed with Navarro. Mm. Now, if you'll excuse me. I have to leave. The device doesn't exist. Perhaps you shouldn't believe a crazy person return of pestilence. <laughs> Speak, Wastelander. Goodbye. You know what, Knight Arthur? I didn't want to learn about life lessons or how you used to be an aardvark or anything. Do you need something? Yes. I need you to open the cell. Also, you got a new friend here. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's showing off. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You two are gonna get along just fine. I almost said well, but... I'm gonna go with fine. Hey. Hey, where's your hat? Where's your hat, man? Uh, nobody knows anything about the teleporter. If it exists, we'll never find it. How do you know about all this? Hats and caves, experimental teleporters. It's literally crazy. Part of a mercenary to you, remember? My flying monkeys know everything in the land of Oz. That, or I ask others, you know. I want to ask some questions. I didn't know you cared, sweetheart. Ask away. How'd you get like this? Uh, no offense. A uh, routine of skincare, lotions, and all-natural irradiated food. I crashed a vertebrate, woke up with a champion headache. Three hours later, I could speak fluent Mandarin, and the walls wobbled every so often. After a Brahmin in a top hat asked me if I was okay, I got it. Oh, okay. How do you help the horseman with your condition? If a stone drops on your enemy's face, do you question it, or just be glad you decided to go through the canyon? No, I wouldn't want to go through the canyon. A merc is still a good merc when he snaps, and a more just slightly bent out of shape. How'd you end up in clinical care? Because I'm insane. <laughs> Getting captured might also have something to do with it. The NCR arrested me after I got split from the team. I was meant to be trapsered. That's right, trapsered to a prison. After a few hours under arrest, they changed their mind. All right. Uh, you know what? Last question. Sure. The doctor's nice enough. There's a unicorn who brings me ice cream and a mirror man who injects me with calm juice sometimes. Calm juice. They ask me a lot of questions. The constant noise is annoying. Them, my dog, Billy, Ricky, and Ed the horse. I don't get any time to myself. See you later. That's enough questions. Tired of me? Don't worry. I have to listen to me all day. It's exhausting. Uh, nobody knows about the teleporter. If it exists, we'll never find it. We'll always knew. I mean, we always knew it was a long shot. Mmm. Did we? You never mentioned that. It's a rumor in the wasteland. You think it's guaranteed some mystical teleporter just exists? I meant to be the crazy one, Chiquita. Any more bright ideas to bust you out? It was a dark day for Andrew Jackson. His captors seemed to have the upper hand. His ace in the hole, a teleporter, was to prove fruitless. A true patriot never gives up, though. He just knew there was a solution just beyond his reach. A furrowed brow later, he and he concocted an idea. You need to be me. I'll walk out of here as you. Then you shout at the guards. Make a good excuse. You're actually seri about, serious about this? Fine, let's get it done. You're kidding, right? That'll never work. All right, so I'm dressing up like you? All right. I need a good disguise. I'm feeling a cowboy. I've got just the thing in mind. Go grab it and we can get this show on the road. It's in a footlocker at the Mojave Outpost. They confiscated it when they arrested me. You want me to go to the Mojave Outpost? Oh my goodness. Get and equip the cowboy outfit. Watch out! It's... It, my pig's not even here, lady. Oh my god, was everyone freaking out because of me? Oh, man. Or his pig pants. Does he have a ghost or something? Uh, 
Ooh, hey everybody. Back in our hands. Shut Hope your mouth. This time. Not your friend. Good night, Ranger Jackson. Ah, yes. Cowboy outfit, desperado. All right. Give pestilence to disguise. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. I will rip your tongue out, ma'am. What is everyone freaking out about? Calm down. Open the door, ma'am. I think you're I think you're all going crazy. My pig is clearly dead. Also, I'm a cowboy now. <laughs> uh, new identity, I know. Here, this would better work. It will. Let's get the show on the road. So what do I do? Sleep so pestilence can escape. All right. See you later. Oh wait, sleep, not sit. Best of luck. Deception. You sleep for a few hours, long enough for pestilence to make it to the saloon. If you didn't get distracted on the way, of course. Shout for the guards. Guards. J Jimmy. Jim Jams. Jim Jams. What the hell happened? Where's the patient? He wanted to leave anyway. I thought you said being here was voluntary. He knew he was crazy. Is that the mark of someone truly insane? Listen, nerd, let me out of here and don't say a word to anyone. Got it? Oh, like it's never happened to you? <laughs> no, it hasn't. Well, maybe once. Oh, fine. I'll open the cell. I guess there's no point burdening the NCR with this weird crap. Semi-friendly persuasion. Just another day doing my dance. You need something? Oh, jeez. Well, for helping me out, ma'am, I'm going to give you... Happy birthday. You can sell those for some extra cash. It's going to be great. All right, so is that the whole A-team? Hello. All right, let's see if I uh, remember anyone's voices. <laughs> uh, there they are. Madman. I can feel a new identity coming on. Well, that worked somehow. We're chameleons, masters of disguise, lizards of lying. Failing in our quests is not an option. Before I forget, give me my old clothes back. I feel more comfortable in them. All right. And I'm naked now. Hey, Mr. T's got a gun. That's cool. Err... Uh, which one? 18... 18, 20. Guys having some trouble here? You're sitting at the wrong... Oh, he wants to play checkers. All right. Death. Let me have a seat here. We can discuss this. What is it? I helped famine. Oh, I helped everyone. Holy shit, it took forever. <laughs> I helped famine. Good job. Yeah. What is it? Tell me about yourself. I used to be a rancher. Those were the days, sitting on top of old Topper and looking out over my spread. It was my own little slice of heaven. You weren't a rancher. That's bull. Yeah, but it was real nice, though, wasn't it? <laughs> What's your role with the horsemen? I'm the leader, kid. All the mad, bad, crazy as fuck plans we come up with that just might work? Well, that's my job. And I smoke cigars. Thinking outside the box? How do four guys take down a whole army? How do two people non-lethal a platoon of NCR? When I'm not straining my brain on that, I'm keeping the horsemen together. Mediating disputes and whatever else needs doing. I want to know about the horsemen. Please tell me. Everyone does, kid. We're hard done by the victims of an uncaring system. We're murderous criminals who'll do anything to get paid. We're the people... We're what people say we are. Mostly they say we're good. That's why the caps keep flowing. Mm. Holy shit. I helped war out. Good work, kid. Here, for your troubles. All right. Holy shit. It took forever, but I helped all your horsemen. We've been talking about you, kid. Seems like you pulled some slick moves and managed to impress people out there. I have a secret to confess. We were testing you, watching how you handled it. People reveal their true self under pressure. Hmm. We learned a lot. You got moves. Dance moves. So you don't need to hire us. You didn't have a tail, so you aren't here to arrest us. That means you want to work with us. Am I right, kid? Was that your stomach? Are you hungry? You want some oatmeal? I'm out of milk. You got me. I heard you guys are the best, and I want in. 
No, this has all been too crazy for me. Good luck. See ya. Um, <laughs> you got me. I heard you guys are the best and I want in. A performance like you just put on? Can't really deny you a seat at the big boy table, but you're not one of us yet. Think of it as an ejector seat. We got a lot of business on right now, so get back to me when you're geared and ready. Ooh. Bandits, bastards, berets, and bad luck. And bottles. Just gotta clear the table off. The A-hole team. A-hole team. A-hole team. That's their name. What is it? Uh, I think I've earned the right to know about the horsemen. Yeah, guess you have, kid. Um, why'd you choose to be called the Four Horsemen? Seemed funny at the time. We were hunted by the NCR and made out to be more evil than the devil, so it felt appropriate to wear that as a badge. Add to that, they're meant to rise during the apocalypse. We thought it would stick. Turns out, we were right. I want to know about the origins of the Horsemen. Well, hold on to your hat, kid. It's a wild story. Four people who wanted to make money formed a merc group. Crazy, right? Real funny, you dick. Answer the question. <laughs> Come on, how'd you get started? We escaped injustice in one form or another. That's how I chose the horsemen. I needed people who would be committed. Our job is to deliver some form of justice. We're not just doing this for money. You know, we only take up good causes. Every one of us got screwed in some way. We are stopping it. So stopping it happening to others is important to us. Why are you so careful? Seems a bit, well, paranoid. Well, it's been something to do with being hunted by the NCR and various groups we've interfered with over the years. Oh, and we're kind of hope pri Enemy number one since we crashed a vertebrate into NCR base. Not entirely on purpose, but, you know, it happened. Hold on, you crashed a vertebrate into an NCR base accidentally? Something like that. No offense, kid, but for now, that's as far as this story goes. Uh, is it difficult to find clients with your situation? Sometimes. Mostly we get word through our network. The right people know how to find us. If they hear about a contract, we check it out. I want to talk about something else. Shoot. I'm ready. Nice, kid. We got a client. A real out-of-towner. He noticed the job you pulled on those bandits and said he had a job for us. We don't know if it's all on the straight and narrow yet, which is where you come in. You'll do the deal for us. We'll see if he brought friends. If all goes to plan, meet us back here to discuss the contract. I'll mark his location. Hot diggity dog. If, if this had a, like... This is a fantastic quest mod, first off. Um, and if this had voice acting, this would be... Some top-notch ballage. Uh-oh. Where's the client? Is he out, is he supposed to talk to me out here? Is he behind the bar? Nope. It was a ruse. There was no client. When I got back, they were gone. Whoa! Everyone calm down. It's just a ghost pig. Yo, where's the client? Hmm. If all goes to plan, meet us back here to discuss the contract. Hmm. Um. Why was stopping those bandits so important? Because I grew up in a place where the rats were big as stray dogs. Real bad place. Saw people living with their faces in the gutter. But I never ever let anyone push me around. Those people needed someone to push them back for them. What's your role in the horseman? I fix stuff if it needs fixing. I break people if they need breaking. Oh. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, this is unfortunate. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to, uh, try to find out where the client lives, and, uh, we'll be back. <laughs>